Patrol agents order to cut that wire came from DHS. Can you confirm or deny that? Uh, thank you for having me, David. And Eagle Pass is in my district. And, and, and what people don't realize is the U.S.-Mexico border isn't on the shores of Texas. It's in the middle of that river. So anytime, anytime somebody enters our country illegally and they make it all the way to the, to the shore, they're already in, the, they're already in our country. That's somebody enters our country illegally and they make it all the way to the to the shore they're already in the they're already in our country that's why you're seeing border patrol cut the wire and help some of these people through the optics are terrible the optics show hey the border's open come on down but the facts are they're already in the united states okay so they're already in the united states but looky here Um, look at this. So they're crossing. It's like, look, okay, look, there's a boat back here, right? So where did they, they were over here and then they just swam across. Well, could they not get them back in the boat and take them back over there? They gotta cut this and let them just come in, and that looked quite dangerous. Them uh, crossing, crossing this area here. Look, look at this back here. Look at all these people. What? I mean, I don't know. Whoa! Here they go. See, see all this this area here. Let me go back some more this area back here now I know y'all saw a couple of weeks ago that uh, Biden administration wanted to um, have them remove this big thing that they had in the water uh, I don't know what area it was at um, and I think it had little I don't know if it had like spikes on it or whatever but it was uh, like a big buoy right to to stop people from from my guess swimming across and the Biden administration said, Oh, you, you gotta move that because it's it's in it's in I guess Mex oh no, it's stopping boats from, from going through the the riverway or whatever that is. So I guess they just moved it back more this way, but would they need one of those here to stop this influx right here? I mean these people are gonna risk everything if they if they know that they can cross. This is this is ridiculous. Look at this. And this guy, just he just speeds off, but let's just let him keep piling over. I only seen like one woman. This looks like a bunch of, a bunch of men. What is happening? Let's, uh, let's turn the volume up on this. Let's see what they're going to say. Visit Eagle Pass. Texas to see the border crisis firsthand. You spoke to him. Are you going to be joining him? Yeah. Elon Musk is going to save us all. Save the border. Uh, David, uh, you know, this this border crisis is historic and it's only getting worse uh, and we, we can't keep running the same play. Uh, I'm excited uh, that I, I believe Elon Musk is the jet fuel that Washington needs to get us back on track. You know, I've hosted 19 different the jet fuel to get us back on track. I, why don't you just secure the border? It was working, even though it was the previous administration. Does it matter what administration is in office? Does it? It shouldn't. Finish building the border. Uh, weld up those holes that you already cut in. Do something about the area we just saw where they're, they're just coming across the little river there. Then let's cut this and let them come over. But what? I don't. I mean, I know all the Americans, all of us. It's like okay. It's it's simple enough. Build the border. Have security on there. Put put the the National Guard down there. If you have to deploy some military, it is to defend our country. We need defending, right? We need defending. 
different uh, congressional delegations or high level visitors, Elon will be number 20. Uh, and, and I think this is what we need. We need concerned citizens <laughs> that can come visit it, see it for themselves and also provide solutions, real tangible. Sol are we all concerned? He needs concerned citizens to go down to the border. I think most of the majority of America are concerned, have been concerned, and want it taken care of. Just go do it. Stop sending money to Ukraine and fix the border. Solutions that, that will get us to solving this problem because this is an American issue. It's not just along the border. It's everywhere in the country. Right. Today it's New York, but it's Chicago, L.A. next. You know, uh, one of the things that's happening in New York, which is overwhelmed, they're running out of money to provide for the for the migrants there. Well, he's saying it's not just for the border, but uh, if you saw my previous video, Spin, 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 Green said she got some memo, because obviously we didn't get the memo. We, we never get the memo, but she got a memo saying that the Biden administration was loading these people up on planes and and bringing them to cities across America. She said that. If you haven't seen it, go watch my video, Spin, 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 right in the middle, somewhere in there. She says this. She says this, that the administration was flying them over. Now, I know uh, some places in America said stop because um, they were flying in, inside the country itself loading up some people and drop dropping them off at airports in the middle of the night were some of the states. I think here where I'm at uh, in Tennessee, that the, our mayor, governor, he's like, no. He said, no, your, your plane's not landing. You're not going to sneak in in the middle of the night and drop off, you know, 100 people or whatever it was that was on the plane that they were trying to do this. And that, that was like a year ago. But this is saying the Biden administration is taking them. And then now you, you took them and you dumped them in the liberal cities. Ooh. You know, I love it when they eat their own. Uh, but they're planning to give work permits. And the president himself has talked about this immediately. That would be against the law. Uh, for, for amnesty, you're supposed to allow six months after your application in order to get a work permit. That's what the law says. Uh, is the president, when the president says he's going to give immediate work permits or governors are saying that, uh, they'd be breaking the law by doing so, wouldn't they? Yes. When the president grants 500,000 work visas to people that have entered the country illegally, all he is doing is undermining legal immigration. I have fought very right. hard for those that are trying to do it the right way. It's absolutely wrong to have somebody come over and cut the line and be rewarded for breaking breaking our, our nation's laws. It's why I think we need to have new ideas. It's the reason why I'm, I'm bringing that I reached out to uh, Elon Musk. To uh, I think we need new problem solvers, new ideas. Why is it? every election cycle it's the same crap it's the same crap well we're trying we're trying we're trying to pass laws to create things to control this situation where you know what you don't need to pass another law you don't need to pass another stupid law what you need to do is go secure the border go get it done have a task force team State by state, city by city, rustle them up. Send them on a plane and get them back out. Tell Mexico we're going to shut them up. We're going to stop giving them money. Stop giving El Salvador money. I mean, I know Trump did that. Said, hey, look, if you don't stop letting these people cross your borders to get into our borders, we're going to stop giving you money. You don't need to pass a bill to do that. For Pete's sake. New, new energy, and I look forward to hosting Elon. I think that's exactly what we need to get us back on track. By the way, jumping the line is exactly, I think, the reason why so many Latinos in the United States, so many Latino citizens of the United States are, are losing their, their support for the Democratic Party, why they are going away from Democrats right now. Yeah, but the Democrats are gaining more support by fast-tracking these other people. Well, half of them they probably can't even speak English. But this is this is something that, you know, has been talked about for decades. Decades that, you know, the more they come in, the 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 libtards figure, oh, that's just more votes for us. Well, maybe maybe the tide's turning on that because the more that flood in, the 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 less jobs 
for for everyone. For everyone. Because they don't like it any better than anybody else, the fact that people are immediately given all these rights. <laughs> you are spot on, David. You know, I represent a district that's over 70 percent. And why, why aren't anybody all freaking out like, oh, my God, they might have COVID. I mean, some of these people might have not even been immunized. We don't know. You've got millions of people coming into the country. And then you're going to put them in the schools with with our children. America's children who have been immunized. And, you know, there are some goofy people that don't immunize their, their children, but you don't know what kind of diseases these people have. I mean, look, I understand people want to come here, right? And it's amazing everybody wants to come here, which when when you have the left who already live here, the snowflakes, you know who I'm talking about, that complain about how bad America is, but everybody wants to come here because it is great here. But the thing is, is that these people are coming over. We don't know what they have. We don't know what diseases they have. What do you do? What do you do? Hispanic. Uh, last cycle, I won Maverick County where, where Eagle Pass is. The first Republican to do that in, in over 200 years. So you're seeing the, the folks along the border, predominantly Hispanic, have had enough. They're fed up with these failed policies and their failed policies. It's not the politics in it. I'm of the mindset, let's find solutions, real solutions. Part of that, we have to end catch and release. There have to be. Re there shouldn't be politics involved here. It doesn't matter what you are. You're a libertarian, you're a conservative, you're a Democrat, whatever. Politics has nothing to do with securing the border of our great nation. What the heck does that have to do? <laughs> it's just it's just mind boggling. The 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 idiocracy the idiocracy of of this. There should you shouldn't have to pass a bill. You shouldn't have to get support to close a border. Why are we even having this discussion? It's like, oh my gosh, you know, we got a problem. Fix it. Fix it repercussions. We have to turn on the flights to deport people that do right. not qualify for asylum. And then we have to not offer those that are doing it the right way through work visas. It's why I've introduced legislation called the Higher Act that, yep. that encourages those to come over the right way. The old Braceros program. And another thing that's not being talked about, too, is the identity theft. Illegals come in. Boy, if they get you, anyone, it could happen to any of us. And it is a nightmare. It would be a nightmare to, because an illegal took your identity, got credit cards, whatever, Lord knows what they're doing, and this happens. This happens. Now, I haven't seen a lot of people talking about it, but we know what happens. So we have all kinds of issues. I mean, are they, they dumping out their, their prisons, their insane asylums, and just letting, the, yeah, let, let America deal with them because America's stupid. America's stupid. They're just going to let them all in because Biden's in office. Biden's not even running anything. Just let them in. I remember it, or I remember hearing about it. Guy, Congressman Tony Gonzalez, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Well, there you have it. There you have it. Now, let's see. <laughs> I mean, I was scrolling through some of these comments. Uh... I can put a link in the description and you guys can go read them, but it's it's all all of these people. All of these comments. They're wanting America to be great again. They want this to stop. Nobody says people can't come to the country. Nobody's saying that. They're saying you got to do it legally. Other countries do that. Some countries, you know, they'll throw you in prison or worse. Or worse, you cross the border. Mexico, if you guys go and look up, look up Mexico or any country you want and see what their border policies are or just you coming to the country that you want to immigrate. Let's say you want to immigrate to Mexico. You're going to have to prove to them that you're going to be, you're self-sufficient. You're an educated person. You're not going to be a detriment to society. 
So they want those kinds of people coming in, but they're going to just, they let their own people, they don't even care. Apparently, they don't even care about their own people. You're just letting them leave. You're just, oh, build a wall to keep your own people in because they want to leave? I mean, that's insane too, right? But we have to build a wall to keep them out and just bring them in at, during a process. And that's, it has to be that way. It's not inhumane at all. It has to be that way. We are, we are going to implode if this continues. If we, like the mayor of New York said, the city will be destroyed if this is not taken care of. It's going to destroy the city. It costs too much money. We're already in debt. We're in debt to our, <laughs> through the roof. It's insane. But anyway, I will put this link in the description. And uh, you guys can also look at, look at these comments because that's the pulse. That is the pulse. No, nobody's happy with this. They, they want the border. They want the border taken care of. We just want it done. And there you have it. And that's what's happening.